Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and today I'm going to show you how to customize a course landing page in LearnDash using the custom templates for LearnDash plugin. Let's get started. So as you can see here, I have a pretty bare bones looking course. I am using the Astra theme. And one of the problems that we have here is that the course page is optimized for students. That makes sense. But if you are trying to sell your courses or you want to better incentivize people who have not enrolled in the course yet, your options are limited. LearnDash gives us short codes that we can use for visitors and students. But if you want to make this just like a full fledged landing page, you're going to have some trouble. Luckily, that's where the custom templates for LearnDash plugin comes in. So let's head over to the WordPress admin. If we go to the plugins area, you'll see that we have a few crucial plugins installed. We are using the Beaver Builder plugin. That'll be the page builder we use to build out our course landing page. We have the custom templates for LearnDash plugin. That is the star of this video. This is what enables us to replace the default course template for non enrolled students. And of course, we have the LearnDash LMS. So, custom template for LearnDash is available in the WordPress plugin repository if you go to add new and then search and activate. It's completely free. Once you activate it, you can go under LearnDash LMS and you'll see a new section called custom templates. So, just to give you a quick overview of what we're going to do here, we're going to see a little bit of a one two punch. We're going to create the template using the custom templates area. And then we're going to go back to our course and apply it to a specific course. So first I'm going to go to learn dash LMS and click on custom templates. You'll see that we have none here. So I'm going to click add new. One of the things I want to make sure of is that my Astra settings are properly set. So I have used the Astra customizer to make sure that the rest of the site's experience is good. But I do want to make sure that I'm making the most of the fact that I'm using Beaver Builder for this specific page. So we'll give it a title, work from home. This will be the course that is associated with this template. And then we'll go to the customizer settings. So I'm going to get rid of the sidebar. I'm going to say full width stretched. And then we can contain the content using Beaver Builder. And then I'm going to disable the title and the featured image. I'm going to keep the primary header and the footer bar here. So we'll click Save Draft just to get this saved. And then we'll move over to Beaver Builder. So you can see that we have a big old canvas to start here. And there's one more thing that we need to point out, and that's that this template is going to get applied to a course. So we don't necessarily have the course content immediately available to us. What I recommend you do is have another window with the WordPress dashboard open so that you go to course shortcodes and have the learn dash shortcodes readily available to us in case we need them. So there will be just a list of shortcodes here and it'll let us know if we need to do things like include the course ID. To get a course ID, if you click on one of the courses and then view the URL bar, you'll see post equals and then a number. That is the post ID. So you could see that the post ID for how to work from home is 46. We'll keep that in mind as we build out this page. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is we will drop a heading onto the page, right? We've disabled the default heading because we want to have a nice big custom verbiage heading. So we're going to call this how to work from home. Or maybe learn how to work from home. Learn how to work from home. We'll change the style of it. So we'll make sure it's center aligned. We'll make sure to use the heading one tag because it is the main headline and we'll save those changes. Next we want maybe a nice big image. So we'll use Beaver Builder to drag the image block here. And then we'll select one from our gallery. 
so we have this image which we're using for the course cover so we will use that same image and we'll make it the let's see the large image will probably be okay we don't want to kill our users bandwidth here and then maybe we want to do something like this with the row where we want full width and we want the content to be fixed uh, what this will allow us to do is set a background color so maybe we'll set the background color this nice gray that we like make it stand out a little bit and then we'll make the text color white and then just to cut to the quick we will crop this image and make it let's say landscape or panorama there we go that looks a lot better so the next thing we'll want to do is add a payment button and we might be inclined to add a button here, but we'll actually need to use one of our short codes. If we scroll down on the short codes list, we will see one that says LD payment buttons, and we'll need the course ID, which is 46. So we'll copy this, we'll go back to our page builder. So we will use the uh, text editor module. This is closest to what we would see in a regular WordPress editor. We'll paste that in. We will paste the Learn Dash Payments button and change the ID to 46, and then we'll click Save. So you can see that nothing is showing up here. That's okay. When we save and view the published page, we should see the Buy button. So there are a bunch of things that we can do here using the Beaver Builder modules. We can add icons or galleries or testimonials or other things to really improve the page. but for the purposes of this video, I just want to show a proof of concept. So the next thing I'll do is I'll add another text editor where we can grab the course content. So again, we'll reference our short codes. You could see that there is a course content short code that also requires an ID. So we'll copy that. We'll paste the short code in the text editor, change the ID to 46, unbold that though, it doesn't matter. Then we'll click save. All right, and you can see the course content is being pulled in here. We're likely not seeing this button because we have already enrolled in the course. So uh, I'm going to copy our button again and drag it below the course content. So now we've got two calls to action. We'll click save and publish. So the next thing we need to do is actually associate this template with a course. I'm going to click on courses and then how to work from home. If I scroll to the course information, we'll see a new box here. Select custom template for this course. I can select work from home and then update. Now, if I click view post, you'll see that nothing has changed and that's because I'm already enrolled in the course. So what we need to do is open this in an incognito window where we're not logged in. And you could see that we are seeing our custom landing page with the take this course buttons and the course content that is not clickable. If I click take this course, it'll bring us to PayPal. So that's it for this video. In it, we learned how to create a custom template for LearnDash using the custom template for LearnDash plugin. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching that video. If you liked it, be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content. If you want to learn more about web development or WordPress or anything that I talk about on this channel, you can check out the other video that's linked on this screen, or you can head over to creatorcourses.com to see what online courses I have to offer. Thanks again so much for watching, and until next time, get out there and build something.